Hello, welcome to my guide on painting model kits using acrylic paint and a paintbrush. Today I'll be using this kit, the Zen Riser of conversion kit from Mr. Harvey as the base for the demonstration, specifically the sword and only the blue parts of the sword. I won't be painting the rest of them since I'm a bit strained on time. So let's begin. In this part, I'll be talking about the equipments required for painting a molecule. kit. First up would be the paints. In my case, would be acrylic based Mr. Hobby. The thinner required for thinning out the paint, in my case, it would be Mr. Carter Thinner number 50. A couple of paint brushes for painting the model kit. A pipette for extracting the paint and the thinner. A couple of toothpicks to uh, mix the paint. A masking tape for masking off any parts that I don't want paint to get on, a can of top coat for saving my progress or when I'm finished to give it a nicer surface, a sheet of sandpaper for roughing up any parts that I want paint to go on since in some cases or if not most kits will usually have a oily surface that they were originally coated in. This would help the paint to be able to stick on more nicely and more tightly so you wouldn't have any paints rubbing off. A paint tray for of course the paint, a panel liner in this case would be a black one made by Tamiya and a thinner for the panel liner for cleaning up any uh, remnants that you don't want to have on. And of course lastly a moral support halo. Yes. For the first step, just sand down the part you want to paint. This will help the paint to stick on the parts better since when the kit is produced from factory, there's usually a oily texture on it that keeps paint from sticking to it properly. You could also use primer, but since I don't have a can of primer with me right now, the sanding option is a great one to use. Once the sanding is done, apply the masking tape to whatever surface you don't want to have exposed to the paint. This will generally just be a step to protect your work from being messy in a way. Masking tape could also be applied later on to painted parts, but do make sure the paint is actually dried since you don't want your work to get messed up by accidentally ripping it off. Before we start mixing the paint, we need to stir the acrylic paint within the bottle first. Do not shake it since that will reduce the li lifetime of the paint, but using a toothpick to stir it is a much more ideal solution. You could use other things to stir it, like an actual stirring rod, but for economic use, I'm just using a toothpick for this one. Now add a paint to thinner ratio of 1 to 1. This is the usual normal standard from Mr. Hobby Colors, but there are some that might require a different amount of ratio. Do experiment this on your own. The paint and thinner mixtures now should be stirred using a paintbrush. Try to make the solution look and feel a bit uh, milky since that is the correct amount of paint and thinner ratio that would usually come out as is a result. This would allow the paint outcome to be thin enough so that you can apply it multiple times to make it look smoother. When painting a model kit, when the brush moves through an area, leave that area behind even if it doesn't look smooth enough since the goal here is to apply multiple thin paints so that the surface would look smooth. Don't reapply the paint on recently finished parts because that will ruin the paint's texture and that would not be a great outcome.
When applying top coat, do it in a zigzag manner since that will evenly spray out the top coat onto the model kit so that it will create a smooth and even texture across the entire kit. When you need to switch sides, just switch the sides. In my case, it would be just a manner of turning the foam that the kit is being put on to the opposite side. Panel lining is basically a step where you add lines onto embedded parts. This usually makes the model kit look more mechanic if it's a mecha or just gives a more sense of depth in some certain area. When applying Tamiya's panel liner, try to dab the part. Don't stroke it like an actual paint since for this type of panel lining, it's usually to just apply a small amount of black ink into an area and let that ink run through the edges of the part. Once the ink has dried, apply some of the corresponding thinner to the, of the panel liner onto a small cotton bud and then rub up any excess ink that you don't want on the model kit. This is akin to using an eraser to erase any unwanted pencil marks on a paper. I do hope you enjoyed this guide video about applying acrylic paint onto a model kit by hand or in this case by a paintbrush. Here's the sword being held by the double Gundam. I hope you enjoyed.